Welcome to the Motive Engineering YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be using a bunch of our machines to make something really cool. Like you, we have a love for aerospace. This love was forged in seeing footage of the Apollo missions, SpaceX landing rockets, and SpaceX also not landing rockets. As we became engineers though, we started to appreciate some of the more nuanced aspects of spaceship design and construction. One of the things that sticks out in particular is what's called isogrid or orthogrid. This is a shape and structure that was developed by NASA about 50 years ago to decrease weight and increase strength of a part. I remember watching Destin's video a few years ago about the ULA rocket factory, which is where they build their structures with their spaceships and they were going on tour and they're showing off, uh, the CEO is showing off the milling process and how these shapes look, how they're made and all the stuff behind it. And it's just really cool. So inspirational in fact that we needed one ourselves. It's less helpful for us though, to have a 40 foot long section of fuel tank for a rocket. So something that is more like rocket fuel to us is this. So we're gonna make a coaster that uses this ISO grid design the first step is going to be researching and looking up the optimal dimensions and specific design for the part. I found one of the really old McDonnell Douglas and NASA contract reports from them designing this shape and started looking through that and finding some really interesting information. After spending about half an afternoon on this, I remembered that this is not going into space and it's also not to scale at all. And so none of that is important and we just should make something that looks cool. Today we'll be using SolidWorks, so let's open that up. We don't really have any machining considerations to make on them because we're gonna be using the SLA printer and that thing doesn't really care what kind of shapes or geometry to throw at it. We wanna make three different versions and there's like 10 ways to skin a cat on this. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how we made this one. Now that that part has been made in SolidWorks, let's bring it over into the SLA software so we can get it set up and ready for printing. We'll be using a tough ABS-like resin for the print to make it as durable as possible. For the support setup, we want to have all the supports on the bottom so that the grid structure on top is completely untouched. So let's send this off to the printer. While those are curing, we're gonna be using our laser cutter and some of this cork that we bought to cut out bottom sections. The bottoms of the coasters are really nice. It's pretty easy for us to just bring over the dimensions from SolidWorks into Lightburn. We'll be cutting out our hexagons and engraving a motive logo and a cool design in the bottom. With everything set up in software, we just need to line up our material and hit start. The cork is easy to apply. It has a nice self-adhesive on the back so you can just peel it off and stick it right on. With that stuck on the bottom, we have our finished coasters. They feel really nice. They look really cool. I love the design that we have in the back. If you want one for yourself, they're available on our website. We also have some other stuff up there that we kind of make on the side. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you want to get notified the next time we upload a video, make sure to subscribe. Thanks and we'll see you next time. A funny side effect of making a shape that is known to be extremely strong is that these coasters are unbelievably strong. We prototype a lot of parts out of this SLA resin and these are one of the strongest things we've ever made. So that's just a funny side effect.